Blessings. My name is Sabrina. I'm, I'm a daughter of this house. Um, you know, some people may think, why does she praise like that? It doesn't take all that. Why does she pray the way she prays? Sister, if I can tell you what God has freed me from, you would understand why I can't stay still, why I can't stay silent, why I can't stop moving, because it's real. I remember when I came to Christ. I, I just, I didn't want to live anymore. I couldn't be, believe the woman that I turned out to be. I, how, did, how did I get here? How did it get so dark? Where, where did I go wrong? And all the while, I didn't understand. Just as God has a plan, so does the enemy. The Bible says that the word of God, they will know the truth and the truth will make them free. And it's that truth that made me free. When God took the veil off of my eyes and he, and he showed me, Sabrina, it wasn't the man that hurt you, but there's a plan. It wasn't your mom's fault, but there's a plan. There was a plan all along. And with the understanding that hurt people hurt people, I was able to forgive those men. I was able to forgive my mom. Just understanding that people literally walk around in chains and they don't know how to love if they don't know Christ's love. So I forgave. And when I came to God, I was bound with a spirit of homosexuality. And I knew God was asking me, give me that relationship. Give me those drugs. Give me the parties. Give me that family. Give, give it to me. And I came to this altar and I said, God, if I, if I don't come now, that's it. That's it for me. There's no life. I was dead, walking dead. I know there's a show called Walking Dead, but it's possible to be walking dead with no spirit and no life and no purpose and no vision. So I said, here, God, and he gave me grace to get rid. The relationship here, God, the drugs here, God, the parties here, God, and I found myself here. And the Bible says, I will give you shepherds to look after your soul, and they will train you up, and I will give you a family, and you won't be a wanderer. And that's exactly what he's given me, and I don't take it for granted. My sisters, I'm telling you, the time is running out. The clock is ticking. We have to move. There's a generation that is dying and God saying, will you go? Can I send you? And when I look and I see people broken and the generation that is coming up behind us and the women and the men and everyone, they don't have vision. They don't have spirit. They don't have destiny. They don't understand because they don't have the truth. I was lost. I was in a relationship with a woman, addicted to drugs, looking for love in all the wrong places, and somehow nothing ever filled me. Bottle after bottle, party after party, giving my body away, and nothing ever filled me up. But I'm telling you, one moment with God, one moment with God can fill you up, and you won't need those things. If I can say one thing, Nobody had to beg me to serve in God's house. Nobody had to say, Sabrina, we need you to serve. But my, my, my thoughts, my heart was saying, God, you freed me. Where do you need me? I will stand. I will stand for a generation. I will go if you send me. My mouth won't stay quiet. Here I am, God. Let's do it. I can't sit and watch a generation fall off. So tonight, God's saying, Deborah's, will you arise? We are enlisted.